Hey guys, it's SJ. Welcome round. How are you? How is your day? Mondays, they're hard in lockdown, I have found. But thank you so much for taking the time to come by and watch this baby name list. At the moment, I am writing baby name lists to do with trends that we're seeing emerge through this mad pandemic that we're all living in. So this week I am doing one, it's called Fields and Flowers, but really the trend that we're seeing is a lot of people talking about the fact that after this pandemic, there's gonna be a big shift in city living and more people wanting to get out of those cities, more work or less workplaces demanding that you're actually physically in your office and a lot more flexible working, which means people can work from anywhere now and people choosing to have a more re remote life, really focusing on quality of people that they're with, of their well-being, and of getting them as much time outdoors while keeping their social distance. So it's a really interesting trend. Is it something you've thought of? We live in a kind of suburbs, I would say, and another thing they're saying is that the suburbs might no longer exist. There's kind of weird commuter belt around people built around people going into the city, um, like my husband does, and that actually we'll all be moving a little bit further out just to get that space. So it's definitely something that's been on my mind. I've been super jealous of my sister who lives in the Cotswolds during lockdown. Let me know where you live and what the situation is. Um, and I hope you enjoy these names. There are some beautiful ones here. And as always, you guys have joined in. So if you're brand new, there's a new list every single Monday here on my channel. And everyone joins in. And um, yes, yeah, so there is a community tab. Just hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you don't miss any of these videos and a chance to join in. It's a really good fun thing to get involved with during lockdown um being a bit creative especially if you're like a writer or a mum to be but you don't have to be <laughs> so let's get on with the names and then i will do a shout out at the end so the first name i think is i think a lot of these are gender neutral but the first name i love for a girl and it's the name mary vale mary vale isn't that unusual it sounds like a um, really old vintage name but it's a word that means pleasant valley and i just think it is so lovely it's so free spirited it feels very zeitgeist for now mary vale um sort of that outdoorsy free spirit nature of bringing a baby into the world and bestowing a name like that on them mary vale i actually really like vale or mary as a nickname i was overthinking this why do my kids always go crazy <laughs> The second I ask, just five minutes. <laughs> Gonna hear them going crazy, but Mary is such a lovely nickname as well. What do you think of Merivale? For boys, this is a Finnish name. I have mentioned it before, but it's one of my favourites. And I'm, I'm sure I got the pronunciation wrong last time. I think it's correct now, and it's Tapio. Tapio. I love it. I think that any boy name ending in O or starting in O is just a really handsome name. Like Oliver, Oscar, Hugo, Tapio is such a cool name. And he was basically the Finnish god of the forest and animals. So I think it really fits in with this theme because it's got that real outdoors spirit to it. And again, that's the woodlands mystical side of it, if you're into that. Um, the next is a girl's name, which I think is a vintage one about to come back, and it's the name Myrtle. So when I've been looking into different flowers, I always have done loads of flower names. Um, there were only five girls named Myrtle last year. And obviously there is a Harry Potter link. She's moaning Myrtle, isn't she? But I just think it's lovely. And with Mabel, it's just so popular now, like Mabel is everywhere and it's a beautiful, beautiful name. I think Myrtle could start to come up and it's so linked to um, a flower. And the flower actually means good luck and love. So it's a really lovely symbol for right now. I just, I can't, I'm falling in love with this name more and more, Myrtle. I think it's adorable. Um, let me know. Am I mad? There were five baby myrtles last year, and I it's a, it's gonna it's gonna grow. Ooh, quite like that little pun there. The next name is a boy name that I love, and it's the name Roscoe. So Roscoe actually means deer forest, um, and it's such a great name. I think that Ross obviously is a very well worn boy name. Roscoe. Um, it sounds really cool. It sounds quite like um, nickname ish, doesn't it? Um, but it's a really lovely. It's actually an old English surname. So surnames were always to tell people where you lived. Um, so a lot of these surnames would have great meanings like their place, so Roscoe from the deer forest. And uh, that would have been where people lived. Isn't that just kind of like quite romantic when you think back on it? The next name is a really unusual one. It came up on Nameberry, which is a website where they search for like, they look at popularity of names. And it was kind of trending, just not used yet. And it's the name Viridis. 
and it means green in Latin and colour names are booming at the moment. They're really, really popular. Oof, got a little bit of fluff. <laughs> green is, oh look, I'm in my new sage green kitchen. Um, is a really calming colour and I really liked this name, Viridis. I thought it was lovely and it also has a second meaning of meaning young and youthful and lively um viridis so like that very veritas that mean the same sort of thing um yes yeah, so it's a medieval italian name apparently viridis do you know anyone called viridis or anything like that but it really to me this time you know this period when it's we're getting into spring and the world is so green and we want to surround us out of that calm serenity moss for boys or for girls there were four babies named Moss in 2008 and I'm like crediting myself because I've been going on about this name <laughs> um obviously we have Kate Moss and um, the very famous global supermodel Moss just sounds really wearable and I think everyone always says that there's somebody is it in like Big Bang Theory or something somebody called Moss um so yeah what do you think of it but I just think it brings to get to me that real earthy outdoorsy boy name um but it could be for a girl as well i just really really like it next up another vintage throwback flower name how about rosemary so rosemary is such a beautiful name and it was only ranked to number 596 um and it also has obviously it's the herb so it's kind of as unusual but with the flower meaning with rose which has just been so eternally popular you could bring back rosemary and what's lovely is it symbolizes remembrance and there's going to be a huge amount of people losing people right now and I know that's something that will come through in baby name but also just remembering this time and um, the significance of it and being born in such a special unusual time could be lovely and because it's rosemary it's very outdoorsy you think about the wild rosemary growing around the countryside I love uh, one of my favorite boy names Woodrow so Woodrow means a row of cottages by the woods so it's such a great one there were 19 babies named Woodrow last time I did the checks, which are always like a couple of years old, the Office of National Statistics, where I get my statistics. <laughs> um, but it's a lovely name. Woody is obviously a great nickname, Disney Pixar name, but Woodrow I just think is so lovely as a long form of it. Um, and actually it would be gorgeous on a little girl. Can you imagine a little girl called Woodrow? Um, next name is one that on the community tab everyone was recommending and I already had it on my list and it's the name Elowin. Elowin has seen so much love for us here. It's at number 972 in the UK rankings right now but I wonder if it's going to keep whizzing up through the charts um, because it just gets so much outpouring of love from you guys. Nickname Winnie, we love it. It's a Cornish name um, which derived from the elm tree so beautiful beautiful perfect for now because the elm tree is a symbol of life um so gorgeous elowin i think nab it now because in a few years it could suddenly be up there like you know how like a philia just gone mad or something like that elowin i think will do the same huckleberry for boys we love huckleberry i love the nickname berry for boys or girls and i think huckleberry with nickname huck or berry works really really well it means sweet berry. You could also go, if you felt like it was too out there, you could go with Beresford, which means berries by the water, so a ford, and that's lovely. And again, it's a bit more rounded off, sort of masculine, Beresford. Um, I worked with a Beresford, <laughs> one of my friends, and his name was Berry, and he was just such a cool guy, creative guy, but I love his name. For girls, there are three girls called Bloom last year, which I really like. I do think of Orlando Bloom. My daughter's middle name is Blossom, which is gorgeous as well, but I really like Bloom. I think it's just really lovely, and to bloom wherever you're planted is kind of like a big thing about living in the now. Um, so I don't know, what do you think of Bloom? Would you prefer Bloom or Blossom? And do you think of Bloom as a girl's name or a boy's name? So I, for me, because I think because I've got a Blossom, I always sort of Bloom as like a boy version. Blossom and Bloom, imagine you had twins, people would be like, cray cray. Um, but there were three girls named Bloom as their first name last year. Love the name Rhodes for a boy. It's an unusual one, it actually means a clearing in a wood, but obviously it sounds very much like Rose, the flower name, and Rhodes as in the streets, Rhodes as in the place names. There's lots going for it, but it means clearing in the wood, Rhodes. I think it works really cool, like a simple name, one syllable name. What do you guys think of it for boys? And my last name that I chose was a Swedish name, Annalie, 
which I love. I love Annalise. I've always loved that name. But Annalie um, is popular in Sweden. My husband's Swedish and it means graceful meadow. So really it's um, the name Anna, but you add that Annalie is like the little um, sort of pet form of it. You know, sometimes you make it longer instead of shorter, Annalie. I think that's really pretty, Annalie. Very unusual. Um, so what do you think of those names? Let me give you some shout outs as well. Over 200 of you took part in adding to this list over on the community tab. And oh my goodness, if you love this um, theme, then make sure to go there and read all of these because they're so, so lovely. So I'm just gonna shout out a few of you. So hi Shelby, I love the name Shelby. She chose the name Magnolia. It had tons and tons of love. I absolutely love it with Maggie or Leah as a nickname. Magnolia, absolutely gorgeous. Amber, hi, has the name Elwood, which got mentioned a lot by a lot of you and I love it. It means the elder tree forest, Elwood. And so I was talking about Woodrow, but Elwood is another option. So which would you guys prefer of Woodrow or Elwood? I really like both of them so much. BKLC, hi, how are you? You had a great idea. This is another Finnish name, Oscari. That's how you phonetically pronounce it, or scary. Isn't that lovely? It means friend of the deer. I love all those deer names. Lily Blue had the most beautiful, beautiful list under this theme as well. Lots of what I had on my list already. The one I'd never heard before, Java, which means maple tree, Java. That's really nice, isn't it? For I feel like that's a boy name to me, Java. Um, really, really great new one. Rebecca V. Hi, Rebecca. I loved this. Ardith, which is Hebrew for blooming meadow. Ardith. That is amazing, isn't it? That is such a beautiful name. Thank you so much for sharing that one with us. And Phoebe has a gorgeous, gorgeous boy named Etienne, which means garland, which is a beautiful floral kind of name. It's a French boy's name, um, but can be used for both. And she's gonna name her son Etienne due in August. They're over in Australia. Um, I think it's absolutely great to have a beautiful name like that and a beautiful baby on the way for our community. So yes, congrats to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to join in over on the community tab and down below with any more names that you've got. And let me know what more trends you think. We had lots of press interest in my trends list. So I'm kind of just trying to get it together and see which ones you like the most, then we can put it out there um, around the world as this channel's predictions for baby name trends for a post virus world. So take care, stay home, stay safe. I will see you again next Monday. Don't forget to subscribe. If you know anyone who you think would enjoy these videos, do invite them over. I'd love to grow this community while we're all in lockdown. As you know, I make these videos every single week for free and just because I love doing them and it means so much to me when I see um, you guys comment and, and be here every week. It really is lovely. It's my little time that's just for me. <laughs> What's the chaos of homeschooling? <laughs> I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.